Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, I'm going to continue that series Angular JS series and uh, in this tutorial or in this video we are going to create a uh, table in Angular JS. For this tutorial I'm going to use the uh, NetBean IDE for um, developing the application and uh, in NetBean IDE simple as we use in Eclipse we can use similarly. So just to click a new uh, create a new application just go on file and new project and this in project our uh, web application and next and the application name is angular js table yeah, that's it create server finish it's done it will create an application so where is my index.js file so everything is okay so now i'm going to create an script before creating a script we need this link for uh, uh, angular.js library so you can directly download angular.min.js file from internet and uh, insert in the library folder and can use its property or you can directly copy this link or uh, now i'm going to create an uh, folder here and this web uh, pages folder so folder name will be js in this JS folder, we will keep all my all uh, with our JavaScript file. You can say script files. So just go another and search here for JavaScript. The suggestion JavaScript file. Okay. File name will be index.js. I'm now I'm going to create a controller here. So oh, sorry, module here. So module will be Angular dot module, or you can say the module name is my app. And this. Now I'm going to con create a controller on this controller. So my CDRL. Can say create a function inside this controller. This function, this function, you need to pass a scope variable. Okay, and create an. Uh, no, that's it. Um, just create an script tag inside the script tag use crc tag crc property in this crc tag we are going to import that index.js this file is called index.js okay here we are going to use this ng app that module we create module name is my app and controller ng controller and the controller name is my cdrl or something yeah my CDR. Uh, now we are going to create an array for data so array name will be users users and we are creating a object and name name equals to you can write anything like i create demo for demo purpose and the second property or object will be like edge sorry it's edge right and uh, it's 25 right create a semicolon i'm going to make copy of this for display in the table rows uh, just sorry it's one two three four and five yeah, so, so demo one demo two demo three demo four and demo five Now I'm going to register this uh, user scope. I see. I see the scope. Enter the users equal to users. If you don't know what is that module and controller or a scope, just to uh, watch my previous video. How to what is that and how to use this. Okay. 
now I need to retrieve this data in a table so I'm create table tag here yeah. inside this table tag I'm create a table row table row inside this table row I'm create a table data so table data so first data will be name and uh, the second date the second column will be edge that's it and uh, here inside table i'm create a one more row it's called tr row and tr and this tr what i'm going to use i'm going to use ng repeat directory for face the data uh, user from users user in users okay so in this row uh, first table data will be user dot name and the second data in this table data will be user dot h <coughs> this is the way how to retrieve the data from uh, array this is the array the array name is users ng repeat is work like a loop and user is a variable for retrieving the value of that object so object uh, we will use user dot name so we will retrieve these names and uh, if we use user dot age we will retrieve this age and to format it is an option to be format yeah. so let's uh, test the application for i'm going to run this application and uh, show you the output and i'm going to use the glass fist uh, server you need a server for run these applications you can use tomcat glass fist anything which is easy for you so i hope it will work <laughs> okay now you can see the output it's like user dot name the printing as it is data because we are not use any expression take here so i use some expression to i forget you have to use expression take to print something or express a value so now reload it so you can see here demo one demo two demo three and the edge column also for more clarification we can create a border for the table border something pixel right yeah it's working fine now <laughs> you can see here so now we de uh, we define the table data and table row is a uh, single time and we can retrieve that uh, multiple times it depends on array we can manipulate this value from here also if uh, we are creating a one more array object one more object it will show in yeah, the demo six data also like this so if you want source code for this uh, complete code so just to open your browser and uh, type google and go this blog codeone.com in this codeone.com you will find the complete uh, source code uh, complete angular js tutorial with the source code and uh, here you can see that uh, table angular js table and repeat with example so you can easily find that code also and uh, I will provide all the this uh, link inside the inside the description box below video. So, if you want more videos on Angular JS and other technologies, you can uh, subscribe our channel and uh, for new updates of, of video, for new updates for every video, you can press that bell icon. In this codeone.com it's a, it's a blog for uh, all the technologies related to java and this technology is uh, like uh, you can find all the projects code also like if you want a project which is developed in the uh, 
which is develop on that uh, MBC architecture or uh, Java technology like Servlet and JSP. You can find easily co uh, easily code freely. So if you want some project and build a for project for your college submission and something, you can go uh, and read this uh, post. And there is a complete description how to use that uh, code. And this is a demo also how it will work. And if you want to download that file, just go on the download RAR and from here easily you can download that RAR file so thank you so much for watching uh, keep watching thank you